so we're going to do uh, this is going to be a tutorial on uh, creating the uh, dome light setup and this is the setup we're going to use now for our new uh, three point light system uh, and the reason we're doing this is because it kind of mimics using um, mental ray gives us that soft shadowy look uh, so we're just going to create a simple scene and we're going to go into plane just create a simple plane I'm just going to center that guy out. And then we're going to go into right here, standard primitives, select extended primitives. And we're going to do a chamfer box. And we're going to just bring that guy out. And then up. And then up and down to chamfer him a bit. Give him that little bevel look. So that's good. And then uh, we're going to do a chamfer cylinder also. So let's do one guy over here, up, and then in, give him a little bevel. And let's, let's do a guy up here also, up, in, and slightly down. There we go. Also, I had auto grade on, so that's why it stuck, came on there perfectly. And we're going to go back into standard primitives and we're going to select the teapot. We're just going to make a simple, stupid little teapot um, here. That's good enough. And we're going to go into the modify panel of the teapot and we're going to give it 12 segments. So it's nice and smooth. And also, we're going to do a, we're going to add a modifier and we're going to add uh, cap holes so you can't see through it. And now that we have our scene set up, we're just going to give it all a gray material. So select everything and add a gray material. So now everything has a gray material. And that's what we want. So now we're going to create the light setup. Uh, we're going to go into create new lights, target spot. And you know, have one coming out and looking directly at it. So that's our first light. We're going to go into the rotate tool, and then we are going to where it normally says use pivot point center. You're going to hold that down and you're going to select this bottom guy, and that is use transform cord in the center. We're going to turn on angle snap toggle, have that on, and then we are going to rotate it at 30 degrees. So since my uh, pivot's moving all around, which I don't want, I want it centered, I'm probably going to have this select that, let's see, world. There you go. So now it's centered at that little uh, pointer box. So I'm going to hold shift and then drag, rotate it about 30 degrees. We're going to do an instance and we're going to do about 11 copies. So there you go. You got your whole array of lights. And then if we do, we look over here, we do a quick little render. It's obviously way too bright, but it's working. So that's what we want. So let's select a light. And since it's an instance, whatever light we select uh, and whatever changes we do to it, it's going to do to every light. So we're going to go open its uh, modify panel. We're going to bring down the intensity to let's say about 0.1 and what else we are going to turn on shadows shadows on and we are also going to go into the shadow map parameters let's see shadow map parameters and we're going to give the size we did in class to 25 and sample range we're going to change to 12 so if we do a quick render now, starting to get that smoother look. So since this is a dome setup we're doing, we're actually going to make a copy of all those lights. So a thing to do, uh, so you don't, you can either put all the geometry in a separate layer, or you can go over here and do lights, and that only lets you select lights. Uh, and with that set up, we're here on the side of you. We're just going to 
bring those guys up and they're also going to be innocents and a quick thing we're going to do is select the uh, target of all the lights and bring it down so it's pointing at the objects now select all the lights again and we are going to scale them in so as you see right here they're scaled in now we're going to do the same thing again select all the lights rotate them or excuse me move them up copy them up and their instants also and then scale them in again and now you have your dome of lights so now if we do a quick render right here let's see it's looking a lot smoother it's looking more like what we want Right. And let's see, we might have to change that fall off. We are going to change the fall off to something a little higher. And let me just check my notes. So spotlight parameters and spotlight parameters and fall off beam. Let's do that like no. Let's see two hundred, see how that looks. Alright, that's looking a little better. Might move that down a little bit. little bit more let's do like 80 there we go so 80 70 area looks pretty good so now you don't have all those crazy light things going on Actually, let's go into all and let's move this guy a little bit out. Oh. Well, I just move that out. All move this guy just a little bit out. Just give it a room so you can create a shadow. Now let's try that render one more time. There you go. So you're getting better shadows. So that's these dome of lights. They're actually going to be your fill light. Those are your new fill lights. And they give you that nice, soft, shadowy, kind of realistic look. And now for your key and rim light, you're going to use a... So let's get the orthographs again. You're going to use a target uh, direct light. So point it straight at the object again. And let's make it up move it up on the side of you that kind of thing open its parameters modify panel uh, we are going to turn shadows on for that and we're going to add ray trace shadows let's put that at one just to see what the difference so we can move down from there and now let's take a quick look how it's supposed to look like, or how it's looking like. So we're almost there, but it's obviously way too bright. So let's do like, let's do like point seven. All 
that's pretty good. I'll bring it down a little bit, like 0.64. Alright, and there you go. So that's how you get your new three point light setup scene. So make sure you use the dome of lights, use the uh, target directional light for your key and your um, rim light. And I hope that helps.